Hello, I'm Lisa Waddell. Hi, I'm Alma Prelek. We've chosen three poems by Emily Dickinson to recite because Emily Dickinson is a agoraphobic poet who had so much color in her mind she never had to leave her house for inspiration. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves and immortality. We slowly drove, he knew no haste, and I had put away my labor and my leisure too for his civility. We passed the school where children strove at recess in the ring. We passed the fields of grazing grain. We passed the setting sun. Or rather, he passed us. The dews drew quivering and chill for only gossamer, my gown, my tippet, only tool. We paused before a house that seemed a swelling in the ground. The roof was scarcely visible, the cornice in the ground. Since then, tis centuries, and yet feels shorter than the day I first surmised the horses' heads were towards eternity. A bird came down the walk. He did not know I saw. He bit an angle worm in halves and ate the fellow raw. And then he drank a dew from a convenient grass and then hopped sideways to the wall to let a beetle pass. He glanced with rapid eyes that hurried all around. They looked like frightened beads, I thought. He stirred his velvet head like one in danger, cautious. I offered him a crumb and he unrolled his feathers and rowed him softer home. The Nars divide the ocean, too silver for a seam, or butterflies, off banks of noon, leap, plushless as they swim. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul, and sings the tune without the words, and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard, and sore must be the storm, that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea, yet never, in extremity, it asked a crumb of me. I died for beauty, but was scarce, adjusted in the tomb, when one who died for truth was lain in an adjoining room. He questioned softly why I failed, for beauty, I replied, and I, for truth, themself are one, we brethren are, he said. And so, as kinsmen met a night, we talked between the rooms, until the moss had reached our lips and covered up our names. <laughs>